Hey everybody, it's Jason from Code Monkeys, and welcome to another Code Monkeys tutorial. Today's video, we will be going over some of the basic concepts of Anaconda, such as how to install Anaconda specifically for Ubuntu, although it also runs on Windows, Mac OS, and other Linux distributions. And then we're going to go over how to deal with some potential errors that may occur when installing Anaconda. And then we're going to go over how to auto activate your base environment, and then how to activate and deactivate your base environment. So first of all, Anaconda is an optimized Python and R distribution that is free, open source, and downloadable. And it also comes with Conda, Conda Build, Python, and over 100 automatically installed open source scientific packages and their dependencies like SciPy and NumPy, for example. And Conda is an open source package manager and environment manager, which means using Conda allows us to be able to quickly install, run, configure, remove, and update packages and their dependencies. And Conda also allows us to easily save, load, and switch between environments on our local computers. And this is called a Conda environment, which is simply a directory that contains a specific collection of Conda packages and their dependencies. And Conda environments can be maintained and run separately without interfering with each other, which is very useful because if you had, for example, a package that requires a different version of Python, you won't have to switch to a new environment manager. All you have to do is enter a few simple commands that will allow you to set up a completely separate environment to run that different version of Python with its own set of packages that you want to install with it while still being able to run your usual version of Python in your normal environment. So now we're going to go over how to install Anaconda. So you're going to want to go to the Conda website and then click on user guide and then click on getting started with Conda and then you're going to want to click on the install Anaconda link and the first thing you're going to want to do here is make sure that you meet the system requirements so you want to make sure that you have a compatible operating system which we do since we're using Ubuntu and then you're going to want to make sure that you have a compatible system architecture so for Linux you're going to want to have a 64-bit x86 architecture and then you're going to want to make sure that you have a minimum of 5 gigabytes of disk space to download and install and you also have the option of installing Miniconda, which is a mini version of Anaconda that includes just Conda, its dependencies, and Python. And then you also have the option to do a silent mode install. So this will automatically accept the default settings, which means that no screen prompts will appear during installation. But we're simply going to be installing Anaconda without using the silent mode. So all we have to do is click on the installing on Linux link and if you want to use the graphical user interface or GUI packages be sure to install the following extended dependencies for whichever distribution you're using by simply copying the provided command in your terminal and running it and after that we need to click on the Anaconda installer for Linux link and then we need to scroll down to the bottom and then we need to choose which version we want to download. So you have a Python 3.7 version, and then you have a Python 2.7 version. We're going to go with the Python 3.7 version. So you just need to click on the download button. And I've already downloaded this to my downloads directory. So after you download it, just be sure to go back to the installing on Linux page. And then you'll see that you have an option to verify data integrity with MD5 or SHA256. And that's optional, so we're not going to be doing that. And then you have to run either one of these commands here. So for Python 3.7, you run this command. And for Python 2.7, you run this command. So we're going to be running this command. So I will copy that, go to my terminal, paste that. And if you did not download Anaconda to your downloads directory, just be sure to replace the file path with the file path that you used when downloading. And then we're going to hit enter. And then to review the license agreement, we're going to hit enter. And then you just need to hit enter and to scroll down to the bottom of the license agreement. And then you're just going to need to press or enter yes. And now you have to choose an install location and it's recommended to choose the default install location which is what I did but if you want to specify an alternate installation directory then you can type that in here or you can hit control C to cancel the installation and since I've already installed Anaconda I'm just going to simply be hitting control C and then I will clear this and if you press enter then it's going to ask you do you wish the installer to initialize Anaconda 3 running Conda in it and it's recommended to type yes, which is what I did. And now you're going to have to close and open your terminal or enter the command source tilde slash dot bash rc for the installation to take effect. So you could just close out a terminal, then open it up again. And 
Now after closing and opening the terminal, we're going to type the command anaconda-navigator. And if the navigator opens up, then you have successfully installed Anaconda. However, if you're getting an error, then there may be an issue with your path environment variable. And you can fix that by entering this command here, which is included in this text file, which I'll be putting in the video description so you can easily copy and paste these commands in if you have any errors. So you can just copy and paste that first command in, press enter, and then you should be able to run the anaconda-navigator command. And this will bring up the graphical user interface or GUI for Anaconda, and this comes with all versions of Anaconda, and it allows you to manage your Conda packages and your environments, etc., without using the terminal. However, in this video and in the next video, we're going to be using Conda with the terminal, so we're just going to exit out of the navigator. And also, all of these commands that I'm running with Conda, I'm also going to be including in a text file that I'll put on the description of the video. And now we can enter the command conda dash dash version. So this will tell you which version of conda you're using. So for me, it's 4.6.14. But if you get an error when attempting to run this command, then you need to enter this command here. And this will tell you which shell you're currently using. So for me, it's bash. And then you have to enter this command which is conda in it and then you need to put in whatever your current shell is and like I said for me that's bash and then you would run this command and for me you'll see that there's no change because I previously ran this command and then you can then close the terminal and then open it back up again and then you should be able to run the command conda dash dash version and it should tell you your version and now we're going to go over how to auto activate your conda, your base conda environment. So you'll notice that whenever we open up a terminal now, it says base in parentheses over here. So that means that our base conda environment is active. So if you want to be able to run conda from anywhere in your terminal without having the base environment activated by default, we simply run the command conda config dash dash set auto underscore activate underscore base and then false and this will only work if you've previously run conda in it which we have done and now if we close the terminal and then if we open up the terminal again you'll see that the base environment isn't currently active and you'll see that if we run the conda dash dash version it'll still give us our version of conda even though we're not currently in the base environment and if you want to activate your base environment you simply type in conda activate and if you want to deactivate your base environment then you can simply type in conda deactivate now if you want to have your um, auto activate be on again then you simply type in the conda config dash dash set auto underscore activate underscore base and then true so now your conda base environment will now be automatically active when you open up a terminal so if we close out that terminal and we open it up again you'll see that the base environment is now automatically active and you can always check whether or not your base environment is set to auto activate or not by running the command conda config dash dash show dash sources and here you'll see that our auto activate base is currently set to true.
which we can also tell by noticing that we are currently in the base environment. And that's it for this video, which we've gone over some of the basic concepts of Anaconda, such as how to install it, how to handle some potential errors that may occur, and how to auto-activate your base con environment, and how to activate and deactivate your base con environment. So in the next video, we're going to be going over some more basic conda commands, such as how to create your own conda environments, how to update conda, and how to update anaconda, how to search for packages, and how to install packages, and much more. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.